What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be sitting down and discussing some of the amazing products I found in the month of March. And unfortunately, some things that just didn't quite work out for me. As many of you know, these are my favorite, favorite videos to film. People don't really do them that much anymore. But for me, it's just so fun to sit down and kind of reflect on everything that really worked well for me. And I just love doing these little roundups. This month flew by, but especially for me, I found so many great things. We have a little bit of skincare, we have some hair stuff, we have makeup, of course. This was just an all around great month for me for testing out new stuff. I came across a ton of things that worked out for me, but unfortunately, not everything can make the video or else we'd be sitting here for hours. So without further ado, if you're interested in seeing all the things that I loved this month, then let's get into it. I want to start with some skincare before we get into the makeup and all that kind of stuff. And this month I actually discovered a Lush very close by to my house, which I've always liked Lush, but I've never been like in love. Um, they've had a few things that I did enjoy using, but this time around I found a few things that I'm actually like obsessed with. These are my new go-to. So the first thing I want to talk about is this bar of soap, which looks absolutely atrocious and disgusting. I'm so sorry and embarrassed that I'm holding this up on camera, but it's so good. I have to tell you guys about it. So this is a body conditioner thing. Um, kind of like a bar of soap. Um, it's called Buffy and this basically is so great before self tanning. Um, usually I use an exfoliator that comes in kind of a, I'm going to set that down because that's disgusting. Usually before I self tan the day before I exfoliate my whole body and I go in with an exfoliator that usually comes in like a jar and it's really coarse and it's kind of oily sometimes and I am an avid self tanner so I figured that I would give this a go. I was looking for something exfoliating but also incredibly moisturizing. I have very very dry skin on my body so I went in there and asked them what's your most moisturizing thing let me see it, let me test it out. And the girl recommended this for me because it's a gentle exfoliator, although it does do the trick, I would say. Um, and it has like walnut shell, I think, and almond. And you guys, this just makes your skin so, so soft. And it does such a good job exfoliating. So I use this probably every other day. And I find that days where I wanna self tan the day before, I don't have to do nearly as much exfoliating. I just use this a few times a week and I don't have to do anything crazy besides shave and that kind of thing before putting on a fresh self tan. This does get all the dead skin cells off, everything like that. And then it just leaves your skin so smooth and soft. This has just been an absolute, absolute lifesaver. I've even used this the day I self tan rather than the day before and this didn't leave a grease or anything I mean you do have a little bit of moisture on your skin but it was nothing that ruined my self tanner everything went on really smoothly and it lasted a long time so I think this is great I use this to scrub off old self tan I don't use this when I am self tan obviously because it will pull all the color off of you but I think this is just so awesome I'm obsessed with this you need this if you like to exfoliate. The second thing out of many things that I picked up is this face mask that you're supposed to keep in the refrigerator. It literally says keep in the refrigerator and I didn't refrigerate my first one, but I am on my second one and it is currently downstairs in the refrigerator, but this is Brazen Honey. This is one of their fresh face masks and it says revitalize tired skin with warming herbs and spices and ground almond shells to polish. So again, this is kind of a gentle exfoliator. I am gonna do a video on my skincare routine really, really soon, but basically I don't really use an exfoliator on my face because I use a lot of glycolic acids and AHAs, things like that. So I just don't really need it. It kind of gets deep in the skin and polishes and all that kind of stuff. But because I have been using a lot of things with AHAs and, and some harsher chemicals to brighten and that kind of thing, I really wanted to look for something natural that would do the same without being so harsh on my skin. Um, for those of you who do not know, I do have combo skin um, and it is a little bit sensitive. I do get some redness and things like that. But this is basically the most amazing mask ever. It smells like pollen, I'm not gonna lie to you. The smell isn't like a 10 out of 10 for me, but I can look past it because this product is so, so amazing. Um, so basically you smooth it all over your skin and leave on for 15 minutes, rinse off with warm water, 
massaging as you go. That's kind of the exfoliating part. Um, and it just gives you such a nice healthy glow. I use this at night kind of like after I've taken a shower I do I like cleanse my face I use toner all that kind of thing and then I'll put this on for a little bit while I'm like putting moisturizer on or brushing my hair that kind of thing and then I rinse it off and just apply my usual serums and night creams and all that stuff and I wake up the next morning and there's no redness there's nothing my skin is just so even and beautiful I am so obsessed with this mask. So I highly, highly recommend these. They're not that expensive. I don't know, I've just been ditching kind of like my glam glow, all that kind of stuff. It's just too harsh for me and I really wanna try some new natural alternatives. So I've really, really been loving this. Just be sure you keep it in the refrigerator or else it will expire. And if you guys have any other products from Lush that you really, really love, let me know down below. I'm trying to explore a little bit more in the brand and find some other things that work well for me. They have some hair masks and things like that I really really want to test out too. So speaking of hair because this is the month that I got my hair extensions um, I was exploring and playing a lot with hair products. So the first thing I want to touch on are these slip hair ties. So these I got from Sephora and they're basically silk hair ties and first of all, the colors are really cute, I think. They're nice and neutral. Um, and I was worried about these because, hold on. Okay, so let me back up. So I've kind of gotten to the mindset now that I have extensions and stuff, and I just really, really wanna take great care of my hair. So I've been using these guys because they're supposed to prevent breakage and help with split ends, that kind of stuff. This brand also makes like a silk pillowcase that you can use. So basically you get three in a pack, and I was so skeptical about these. Like first of all, $20 for three hair ties is absurd to me. And I'm pretty sure the pillowcase is like 80 bucks, which is just ridiculous. So I was at Sephora and I saw them and I was like, oh, I really wanna try them out. And my mom was with me and I was like, I just, I can't spend $20 on hair ties, I can't. And my mom was like, oh, your hair's an investment, like you should get them. And I was like, mm, I don't want them. And she actually ended up buying them for me, which was so sweet. So mom, if you're watching this, thank you. I love them. Um, so these are so awesome. They actually, I was a little bit worried if they wouldn't hold my hair in place because they are so slippy and they are silk, I was concerned that these wouldn't be super, they wouldn't be super secure, but they really, really are. The elastic in these is really, really good. This one's a little bit stretched out because I've been using it so frequently, um, but I really, really love these. They don't rip out your hair at all. They're so nice to sleep in. These are my go-to. The next thing I wanna talk about is this bad boy right here. So this is the Babyliss Nano Titanium Curling Iron. This is the one and a half inch. Um, I've been using this like crazy because it just smooths out your hair and I don't like really, really curly hair. I like just kind of like a nice like wave. This is, this is kind of what I like. Um, just kind of like a beachy, nothing too crazy, just really kind of relaxed waves because that way if they get messed up, I won't freak out and they're supposed to be kind of messy. And I've just really, really been loving this one. I actually saw this on the Habit Hand Tied Hair Methods Instagram. So Hair by Chrissy, all the girls that have like beautiful, long, beachy hair. So many people on Instagram and stuff get their hair done by her. And this is the curling iron that they use. So I've just been really loving this guy. I'm still playing around with it and trying to figure out exactly how to get those waves or big voluminous curls that I want. Um, I am learning. I am so bad with hair. Like so bad with hair. I can't style hair to save my life. So I'm definitely still trying to figure this out, but so far I really, really love it. I do notice less frizz when I use it um, because the barrel is titanium. It heats up really quickly. There's a bunch of different settings here and it's kind of expensive for a curling iron. I believe this was like $50. I got mine from Ulta, but it's so worth it. The clamp on this is so nice to work. My hair doesn't get caught. That's an issue with a lot of curling irons I have. My ends will kind of get stuck here and it'll rip my hair out. So this clamp is super easy to use, super springy. I love it. It fits comfortably in your hand and the wire actually rotates, which is really nice so you don't get hung up on things and you don't get it like tangled around you. It moves with you. 
um, and it's just been really convenient. I've really been loving this one. My last hair favorite before we move on to makeup is this hairspray. So this is the Luminous Hairspray from Moroccan Oil, and this is a medium hold finish hairspray. Um, it's weightless, natural, with no sticky residue. So I've really been loving this, A, because smells so good like all of their products to me smell amazing some people don't like the smell I personally would like to bottle this up and wear this as a perfume I think it smells fantastic it smells so good so this is just the hairspray I've been using lately to kind of keep my curl it doesn't make my hair frizzy or anything and it's not crunchy I usually spray this into my waves right after curling them and then I'll let it sit for a little bit and then gently brush out just to make sure it's really smooth and it's not crunchy, no pieces are like stuck together, anything like that. It does make my curls last and like I said, it smells so, so good and if you don't like the scent, it does eventually disappear. It doesn't last that long. Um, but this has argan oil and it just makes your hair really shiny and pretty. I love it. It's so great. The spritz on this is so nice. Like you saw earlier, it's a nice aerosol spray can. It doesn't get all over the place. The one thing I will say with this, I use it and there's like a little bit of a cloud of hairspray all around me because it does have oils and stuff in it. It does kind of get like a little bit hazy, foggy around, um, but it goes away and it's really, really not that big of a deal. Because this does have some oils and stuff like that, I try and stay away from my roots because the alcohol and oils and stuff like that will break down the adhesive in my tapins. So the first thing I wanna chat about is an eyeshadow palette, which I actually just uploaded a video on. This is the Natasha Denona Viva All Neutral Eyeshadow Palette. <sighs> I love this thing. I really genuinely love this thing. This has been my go-to eyeshadow palette for the entire month. Like I haven't used any other eyeshadow palettes. This is this is pretty much it. I'm I'm not kidding. I just want to swatch a few shades for you. Like this shade right here called Shine. Like hello. It's so foiled and beautiful. Um this is rustic. They're so pretty. I didn't even have to go in with a glitter glue or anything. I just used concealer and translucent powder as my eye primer and they were just so pigmented and gorgeous. You literally have everything that you need in here. I'm always complaining that palettes are not like a full package deal and it doesn't have every single thing that I want in it. This literally does. It has a cream shade, it has a black, it has cool tones, warm tones, shimmers. Like this is just it for me. I love this palette. I think everything is super pigmented. They all blend really well. This is like the typical, beautiful, amazing Natasha Denona formula. I know it is a pretty price tag, but I think it's so worth it. It's $125 for 15 shades, which is not like the best, but it's really not outrageous once you break it down like that. Um, the packaging, as always, is so beautiful. This is a great size, super travel friendly. I think if I were going on a trip, this would be like basically all I would bring with me. The next product I have is also a palette, and it is this Benefit Cheek Leader Bronze Squad. So these recently just came out and I love this because it has the new Hula color in it. Um, this is the Hula Caramel. It's a little bit warmer. This is regular Hula as you can see. This is caramel. It's definitely a little bit deeper and warmer, which is perfect. You have two shades in here so you can go back and forth. If you self tan or anything like that, you have a little bit of variety in here. You know who is amazing, like just super creamy, finely milled powders, blend amazing. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. I love it. This is my go-to standard product, can't go wrong. So the two blushes in here are Coralista and Gold Rush. Gold Rush, I'm not obsessed with. I do have this in a single pan as well. I don't reach for it that often, but it's not horrible. And then Coralista is a really, really pretty color. I do really enjoy this one, but I can only use this when I'm pretty fair. Like right now, I am using it on my cheeks, but you can see it's just kind of like a pinky sheen. 
Um, not super pigmented, nothing too crazy, but it is really pretty for like a natural makeup day. But if I'm much darker than this, I really can't get away with it. And just nothing shows up. Um, but the formula that, again, really, really great. And then the star of the show for me, my absolute favorite is this highlighter right here called Cookie. It's what I have on my cheekbones right now. I mean, just like, look at that. It's so beautiful. And I would never expect Benefit to have a highlight like this, but like, are you kidding me? Look at that. It's the perfect like wet, glowy, just beautiful, slick highlighter. And it has, it looks a little champagne-y pink in the pan, but I think it has a pretty neutral undertone. It doesn't, it doesn't really give like a gray cast or anything like that. I think it's really beautiful. Definitely not a natural highlight. It is pretty blinding as you can see. I mean, it's, it's pretty out there, but I think it's so beautiful. It's been my go-to lately. It's been the only highlight I've been wearing since I tested this palette out in one of my videos. So if you're interested in seeing this palette in action, I will link that video down below and you can check it out. But yeah, I really, really love this. Again, this would be a great travel palette too. My last makeup favorite is actually a mascara that has been out for a little bit now. This is the NARS Climax Mascara, but I've... I didn't love this at first, I'm not gonna lie to you. It did take me a few tries to really get into this. The brush is really, really nice and big. I do like kind of a more fluffy, thick brush for my like top lash mascaras. Um, if you watch a lot of my videos, you know I use two different mascaras. Typically on an everyday basis, I use a lower lash mascara and then an upper lash mascara. Um, so this is my upper lash mascara favorite at the moment. Um, and this is just in explicit black. I think it only comes in one color. But yeah, this is a really nice fluffy brush. It really gets the product in there and I have never been a big user of an eyelash curler. I think they're absolutely useless. But lately I've been using an eyelash curler and using it with this and my lashes are so long. I love this for every day. And this is kind of my no makeup makeup look mascara that I gravitate towards. If I'm wearing false lashes, I typically won't use it just because I don't really care about my mascara because I'm just covering it up. But when I'm not wearing any false lashes and I have a pretty naked eye, I love this. This makes my lashes look so long, but it doesn't really separate them too much, but it gives just enough separation, but still volume. I don't know, it's so hard to explain, but I love this mascara. I think it's a really, really great option if you're looking for a new one. My go-to is usually the Too Faced Better Than Sex. For a comparison, this isn't quite as volumizing. I would say this is a little bit more lengthening than it is volumizing compared to that one, um, but still a really, really great option and I've been loving it. So this brings us to our misses for the month and I actually got pretty lucky so far. I think I only found one thing that didn't really work out for me this month and that is this heat protectant spray from Dry Bar. This is the Hot Toddy Before Ironing Heat Protectant Mist. So this is a lightweight spray that protects dry hair from heat styling with curling, straightening, and up to 450 helps control frizz and adds shine. So my beef with this is it made my hair really greasy and I just felt like my hair was not holding curl. I would spray this in my hair and brush it through, kind of like the direction say, all of that. And then I would curl my hair and it would just like fall. It was like limp and kind of weighed down and like had a weird film on it. Um, my hair didn't feel like soft and natural and bouncy. It felt like not gritty, but like I said, like greasy and kind of oily, which for me is kind of hard to get like from here down greasy. Um, usually my roots are pretty, <laughs> pretty greasy, I'm not gonna lie, but usually like from the mid shaft to the ends, like should not be greasy. If anything, it's like dry and I have to keep adding oil constantly. Um, so I don't know, this just left kind of like a weird film and I just, I don't, I don't know that I need it. Um, lately I've been using a leave-in conditioner and a few other styling products that have heat protectants built into them. And I just find those work so much better. They don't leave any weird residue on my hair and they don't prevent my curls from holding. Um, these really kind of made my curls fall and they just didn't last at all. And if I used it with a straightener, it just, the hair like clumped together and like was not sticky, but like stuck together and looked like stringy and just I don't know. It just, it wasn't my favorite. Um, 
I'm having a hard time finding a product from Dry Bar that I do like. I don't know. Just lately, everything I've been trying from them is just like, eh, to me. It doesn't really do much, and I think it's kind of like overhyped. I mean, their packaging and the names of everything is so cute and beautiful, um, but if you have any things that you love from Dry Bar, I think this is my second video where I've had a miss from them, but if you do like anything from Dry Bar, if you do like any of their products, let me know down below. I'm always interested in testing out new hair products, especially with this new mane that I'm trying to learn how to uh, tame and do something with. Alrighty, you guys, so this is going to conclude my video. These are all of my favorites and one miss for the month of March. I think we did pretty good. Um, this was a very well-rounded month for me. Usually I just have like skincare favorites or hair care favorites, but this was like a good mix of hair, makeup, skin. I feel like we kind of covered all the bases. So I hope you enjoyed this and hanging out with me today. Thank you as always so, so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe before you go. Click that little bell below next to the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. That way you never miss one of my future uploads and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.